Hey folks, Monkey King Hero, and I'm purposely killing this Rayquaza to show you how to get it to respawn. So, with Rayquaza now dead, it's going to say that the wild Pokemon fainted. And then as it faints, it's going to say that it fled somewhere. Now, if you forget to save, like I did, uh, you could think you're screwed, but you're not. What we're actually going to do is we're going to get away from the spawn area. So, in this case, we're going to drop down here. We're going to save the game. Yes, I know, it's saving the game after... The Pokemon fled. It's very scary. We're going to close our software. We're going to go to system. Date and time. Make sure that synchronized clock is off. Go forward by a day. Reload the game. In this instance. Now, as you can see, it's going to take a while because this is a Pokemon game we're talking about. We're going to load back into the game. Now, the reason that we have to be our way is because if you just save the game where you spawn and go back, it doesn't... Well, at least for me, I've done this a few times now, it just doesn't spawn back, but I could be wrong. But anyway, we're going to wait for the game to load up. Right. Then we're gonna, in this instance, fly back up to where. Oh, screw it, I'm gonna climb back up this way. It's only a little climb. Come on. I'm gonna climb back up to where the Rayquaza was because we're out of range. And if we've done everything correct, boom, there he is, back where he was originally. So, yeah, hope that helps.